Good morning, Internet, and welcome to day 16 of Once Upon a December. It is currently Monday, which sucks because it's the first working day of the week, but it is the last working week of the year, at least it is for me. So I'm pretty excited, and I think this week is going to go pretty smoothly. So I'm not too worried, and I'm, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Dinner. Oh man, it's really dark. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me, but I'm currently driving in the car. We just watched, there's this show that we watched called Naked and Afraid, and we just, that sounded so weird. Um, and we just watched, is it like, it's a double jeopardy, so we've seen the, um, the first four, no, the first, the first seven episodes. Yeah, we've seen the first seven episodes, and that was season one, and we thought, oh, okay, that was it. And then I found out that they just released, a, like, an eighth episode, which was about two hours long, and it was basically this time, two couples, um, out and about, and yeah, that was really interesting. I really like that show. It's, uh, it's very eye-opening. Entertaining. It was very entertaining. Um, you get so invested and opinionated on like the different people involved, and uh, I guess that's just the point of television, right? You, you sit comfortably at home, all warm, and you with your drink and everything, and you're like, "Damn it! Why can't you build that rack faster?" <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, "Yeah, because they've been starving and haven't eaten in like ten days." <laughs> So I am just a little bit unjustifiably, justifiably happy right now because I actually, okay, so if you know me in real life then you're just going to roll your eyes at this so I'm just going to say it and then you can roll your eyes. I got a new camera. Done? Okay, basically I was just having way too many issues with this whole vlogging thing. I just cannot believe how difficult all this vlogging stuff had been this year. Um, I actually almost considered going back to Final Cut X to just edit my vlogs and I thought, no, Selena, you hate that, it just did not work for you, you need to stick with Premiere. So the phone didn't work, even the apps that I'd used for the phone weren't working and I was just not, not, just, just was not working for me. And I'd been using my cameras, my like point and shoot cameras and I mean those were really good as in the quality but I just could not see myself in the LCD screens. Um, because they just won't flip and so it just it just made it really really annoying and it's not like I could walk around with my DSLR Which does have a flip screen because that thing is enormous. So I found this camera, which I'm using right now um, Not sure what the model is, but it's a Samsung camera and basically it is dual LCD So there's an LCD in the back and there's an LCD in the front. So here I keep looking off to the side here that's where the second LCD is, and I'm pretty stoked because now I can see myself, I can tell that I am in shot, and that I'm not like over here thinking that I'm talking to the camera or things are getting cut off, I'm in focus. So I am a very happy vlogger right now, and I just feel like I have finally found the camera for me for vlogging. And the bonus is that this camera is incredibly light. It's, it's almost as light as my phone. So I think I'm going to be carrying this with me pretty much all the time, even when I'm not vlogging in December anymore. Because who knows when I may want to vlog. So I'm pretty happy about that. It would be interesting, maybe, to show you guys some of the stuff that I use. Um, just because I have had questions about my hair care routine and I thought this might be a good opportunity to show you guys. So, um, basically hand wash. Actually, there's a lot of basic stuff. Yeah, but yeah, candles, another candle, uh, spare toothbrushes, hair care. This is when I use the steam pod. This is the um, the cream and the oil, and they work amazing with the steam pod. And the steam pod itself is really amazing, so I highly recommend that. I have some body lotion here. I have the Tangle Twister here, which is really great at combing wet hair. And then, of course, I have. A cleansing oil. This is probably my third bottle of cleansing oil. Not, not Clinique in particular, but just cleansing oil because it's really the best thing ever. I don't feel like I've gone a day since discovering it where I don't use it. Even when I don't have makeup on, I still use cleansing oil because it just leaves my skin feeling so amazing. And as for hair care, so the hair, the shampoo and conditioner I use rotates often. I just use whatever I have, and I have a lot to get through. So I think right now I'm using matching conditioner. I think these were sent from the PR company quite a few years back. So yeah, you can tell I have a lot of... T After I've shampooed, conditioned my hair, and I will put in an oil. 
usually some heat protecting oil or smoothing oil in this case to the ends of my hair because if you've seen my hair it is right down past my waist it's very long um, I've almost finished this this I'm yeah I don't know I would not recommend this I, I was provided this at a PR event I mean it works it's good but I don't feel like it works as well as Moroccan oil or organics oil so yeah I mean I it's still good enough so I've almost finished it I'm gonna finish it off and then I think I'm gonna move on to I think it's called macadamia macadamia oil or something I see that a lot on YouTube and I want to see if it's any good so I bought a couple of samples well not samples I bought a couple small bottles when I was in America so I'm gonna give that a shot and then after I apply oil I'll usually use a cream so this is just to prevent breakage of my hair because it does break a lot given how long it is and how much stress I put it through with heat and I'm indifferent to this I think it's I don't know if it actually works but I use it anyways I can't remember if I bought this in Europe or whether PR sent this to me it's it, I'm using it I'm gonna use it till it finishes but I probably won't buy one myself or buy another one if I did buy this just because I feel like it doesn't these two combine don't give as these two combined. These two combined are absolutely amazing but I feel like these two only work really well if I use the steam pod to straighten my hair and I don't always use the steam pod every time because sometimes I'd like to curl my hair and other times I just don't want to heat treat my hair so I keep these here because I probably use the steam pod maybe once a fortnight or whenever I feel like having really straight hair um, but for the most part these don't feel like they work with anything else. So I'm gonna go take a shower and I'm gonna end this vlog. So until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!